All right, welcome to today's workshop mini. I am excited to talk about a topic that we actually talk about a lot here because we have a lot of authors, publishers, content marketers on the line all the time. And anytime I find something that is good, that will uh, bring you success with little work, I would love to share it with you. And hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment below. I would love to hear from you and I always respond to comments. Um, low content books are great. And low content books are books that are obviously low content but they're very valuable for the person who buys it and they're very easy for the author to make, all right? So they include like journals, coloring books, templates, um, um, like diaries or journals, um, puzzles, right? Here's the topic for today, puzzles. Puzzle books are very, very popular People are still buying them and they actually have low competition because they're hard to make, frankly, right? So who wants to take, you know, 500 words and scramble them up and make it into one of those word puzzles where you have to find the word in uh, like a square box of letters? You know, those are really, really fun, but they're time consuming to make if you're not a computer. And my friend Ken actually approached me a couple weeks ago and he's like, hey, I'm coming out with this new software. Can you check it out? And once I saw this, the word puzzle, I got very intrigued because I know that puzzle books are very, very popular. As you can see here, puzzle books like these word scrambles and the Sudoku. He's got a whole bunch of other types of puzzles in here as well. Actually, I have it on this screen puzzle types here we have the cryptogram sudoku word match word scramble and word search so basically with this tool this handy dandy tool you just put in the content you put in the information so let's say like you're doing a word scramble or word search let's say you just feed the the tool a whole bunch of words and it automatically scrambles it makes the puzzle for you and you can literally have a book within five minutes <laughs> so you could make them like theme books you could um, make them different types of books like that have different puzzles or maybe just one type of puzzle maybe just all sudoku uh, type puzzles or all word match type puzzles whatever you want to do this software literally with a couple clicks of a button does it for you. So I'm, I don't want to bore you with like going through this and making it, um, making one here, but it's as easy as putting in just content and having the software spit it out, which is really, really amazing. And I know that people who crank out these low content books like journals and things like that, they're doing really, really well on Amazon because people are always in need of these types of books and they're fun. You can be creative as you want and you could, with tools like this, you can put out as much information as you know you want and with very, very little effort. So, I mean, you can make tons and tons and tons of books. This is all a numbers game. So the more that you make, the better that you will do. So a couple weeks ago, we talked about journals and how my friend Rebecca had over 3,000 books published on Amazon. And she was just, you know, every day cranking them out, cranking them out, cranking them out. And I believe this tool here, so I'll put it um, in the chat box for you. Unlimited books like this, puzzle books like this, debdrum.com slash pbmasterydd. That link is in the chat right now. You can check it out, all right? Um, I thought these cryptograms were pretty cool too. So all you need to do is 
uh, upload like quotes or sayings, things like that. And then it automatically, you know, scrambles the words and makes it into a cryptogram so that people have to like figure out what the phrase is and there are hints to it. And it's just tons and tons of fun to make these books. And I always tell people, I mean, we could mix these in into our publishing. We don't only have to create books that take us um, a year and a day to create like these books that take like, you know, literally they could take years to create and write, you know, 50,000 words, even 25,000 words is no picnic, right? I'm sure that you could agree with that. And a lot of the times too, there's so much effort into writing the book that once you get around to marketing it, it's like, kind of lose fuel you lose steam and you really need to put your heart and soul into a book these days to really succeed and um, make it a bestseller and make it a winner and grow your list but books like this the low content market books are awesome to just add to your the mix of the things that you already are selling and a lot of these books will just sell and sell and sell over time. And again, you could just keep cranking them out, throwing stuff against the wall, see what sticks. Maybe a specific topic will stick. Uh, and, you know, you should really be the marketing training that you already have with um, the trends that are out there that are um, trending right now, that are popular right now you can make quick books around, right? So a lot of the times it's hard to do that with, with content, like starting from scratch. If I were to make a product of something that just came out, it would take me a couple of weeks to make that product and make it available to sell. But things like this, if you um, have all the content, which doesn't take long to put together, right? and you just feed it into the system and you literally, one of the examples that he has here, he put in information and he had a book within like less than five minutes that was 261 pages. Like, can you imagine that? I mean, there's nothing better than this out right now and people are absolutely loving this. I wouldn't worry too much about competition because if you just take action and do it, it's like anything I teach uh, on these sessions and anything that I sell, if you just take action and do it, you it's very hard to fail. And maybe you do fail for whatever reason, um, which happens sometimes if you only do something once and then you just quit, of course, you might not succeed. But if, if you don't succeed the first time, then you actually know what you to do better the next time, you know, you develop better systems and the whole process becomes better, it becomes easier and it just becomes a natural flow of creation and money, creation and money and creation and money, right? Isn't that a beautiful thing? Okay, so great question from Lorraine. Thanks, Lorraine. Uh, what's the average length of a low content journals or those with quotes in public domain? So the, usually the minimum number of pages for a book is around like 20, like 30, around 30 pages. So um, with these books though, with the cover, with the, the puzzle books here, you're literally creating like over 200 pages and they should be black and white generally just so your printing costs are low. Um, even if you do print them through Kindle, um, you, you know, you're only paying for that when somebody buys, which is nice, but there's still costs associated in that. Okay. This Sudoku, I mean, Sudoku is, look at this, how, how awesome it is. It has different levels as well, but you can create different levels of Sudoku, like easy, medium, hard, like that's really cool. Cause that's what people want when they're making these when they're doing these puzzles. Um, he also shows you some uh, examples of books with headers or without headers. 
he says that he wanted to provide both types of books because some books have them and some books don't. So he knew that that would be a concern or a um, or feature that people would want through this uh, the, through this tool. So you can decide to go with the header or without the header. All right. Um, you can also give these away for free. So you can make them into a PDF and you can get people in that way and build a list. Just things that help you to create content very, very quick, especially in the forms of books. I'm definitely a fan of because um, you just don't want to be, you want to get to that money point as quickly as possible, right? So you don't want to be spending a year and a day creating content because again, you just lose steam and um, you know, mix it up, mix it up. Do some low content, like I did a lot of uh, children's books when children's books was, were uh, a thing and I had a lot of fun doing that and those were easy books to create and those books still sell. So the work that I did years ago is still paying off, still paying off, okay? So um, that's why these things are so cool and that's why I give this a huge thumbs up. You can make, you don't have to make this a full-time business. You can do this on the side. You can just mix it up into the content that you already do. You can sell these as one cheaters in different places like Etsy and, and um, different places like that and different marketplaces. There's tons and tons of things. You can even put these on physical products as well. Luke says need to have barcodes or ISBN. The ISBN should come with a Kindle, so you don't have to make that too complicated. Um, if you just, you know, usually these, you could crank these out without having to invest too much into, um, into the creation. Because what I'll leave you with this is that you don't want to um, have a huge investment up front with creating low content products, whether they're digital or physical. Uh, because you don't, you just don't know how they're, how well they're going to do. And once they're doing well, then you can start investing some money, some time, some energy, some effort into the, into that. So sometimes you just have to test the waters first and then see what, what's going on with it. And then put some more time, some more energy into it later on when you see something is succeeding, right? So that's the kind of, that's the goal that you want with any type of low content thing low cost, low time, and then test it and then see um, where you where you put more expenses in and more effort and energy in later on down the road when you see that it's doing well, okay?